what's up love bugs i am back with another video hey y'all hey welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is shanique martinez is it if this is your first time checking out my channel hello make sure you are subscribed and your bell notifications are on disclaimer i do want to say i'm just a skin enthusiast i'm not a professional don't come for me um anyways but <laughs> This is not my first time reviewing any type of skincare on my channel. So if this is your first time, I will link a cleanser review playlist. I have about like 20 different cleansers I reviewed. And I've also will link my facial mask playlist in the description box so you guys can check that out. I'll put it in the cards as well. So you guys can see other things that I have reviewed over my time on YouTube. But let's just get into why we're here. So today, we're talking about Fenty Skin. Rihanna dropped three products. I actually only purchased two of the three. I was only interested in two of the three. The last product I did not purchase, it was the Hydra Razor, the Hydra something. It was a moisturizer. It's a moisturizer, SPF in it. I read up on it. I really wasn't interested in it. Um, one, because I'm feeling like these products are geared towards normal, oily or combination skin i don't really feel like they will truly fulfill a dry dehydrated sensitive girl that's just my personal opinion by just reading the ingredients so we are going to check that out test that out and see today if you do have sensitive skin will this product really work for you also i'm kind of curious to see what else she's going to put out in this line i kind of feel like um this launch was just her entry into it just to test the waters to see i was kind of disappointed in it because i felt like when she launched fenty beauty she had so many products that pretty much anybody can shop for them i mean with these three products most of the people that are going to be shopping for this is normal oily or combination you will not have people with problematic skin because most of most of the times people like uh, with acne or cystic acne or anything like that they like products like uh, salicylic acid benzoyl peroxide they also like things that help with scarring such as glycolic y you know there's just a wide range of people that i feel like she kind of missed with this launch but this is just the first launch i'm assuming from her i'm pretty sure she'll probably do more launches to come I feel like she's a woman of surprises so hopefully she'll get some type of cleansing oil or cleansing water maybe we'll see uh some eye cream some uh retinol hopefully hop into it it is the fenty total cleanser that i picked up remove remove it all in one cleanser <laughs> Then she also, I well, I also picked up the Fenty Fat Water, the Pore Refining Toner Serum. I was kind of on the fence about this because I feel like this is probably going to be real mattifying. But we're about to check that out. Fenty Skin Total Cleanser, you get 4.9 fluid ounces for $25. It is a 12 month shelf life. The back of the bottle states that it's a hyper clean, soft skin without stripping or drying daily cleanse and makeup remover all in one. So sometimes when you see a makeup remover, typically the makeup removers that cleansers that really remove it well are usually like the cleansing bombs, but we're about to check this out and see. It says, you use it day or night to remove makeup, dirt, and impurities. Wet skin, work into a lather, and then rinse. So that is that product. Some of the key ingredients that are in here, you have the Barbados Cherry, which you guys, I feel like that low-key was kind of a marketing thing because Barbados Cherry is actually in quite a bit, a bit of products, especially your popular popular skincare products out there. I know Pharmacy has one in their cherry eye cream. Uh, Kells has one in one of their nighttime moisturizers. Um, literally, I've seen this product in a lot of stuff. So I actually wasn't surprised that that was in there, especially since, like you said, it's a Barbados cherry, but 
she kind of highlighted that product and people were like, oh, she's making a connection. Y'all, that's actually in a lot more products than what people think. So just as an FYI, the cherry, it says it's loaded with vitamin C. Um, that will help brighten your skin. So that is kind of key. I guess it's a different alternative to a citrus. Um, a lot of people don't like vitamin C in high concentration, especially if you have sensitive skin, because a lot of people are actually allergic to citrus fruits. Just a side note. Anyways, um, then it has green tea, which is rich in, rich in antioxidants to help uh, defend against environmental stressors. And honestly, some of that stuff you really won't even see unless you do it over time. It has fig. So it, that's a, a dessert loving fruit that's rich in antioxidants. And it also has um, keens. I think I'm saying that wrong. It's a rare fruit that uh, it's pretty much like a, on here it says that apple meets a pear that thrives in uh, rough, dry climates infused with minerals to help condition. So I'm assuming that's where you are getting the um, moisture. But then if you look at this, it also says it's oil free. It won't clog pores, but it actually states that it's for all skin types. The fat water, it is a pore refining toner and um, serum. Well, it's a toner serum. So it's a little bit thicker than actual serum is. The serum's really um, ready. What I noticed about this in which I was kind of hesitant because I think this one, it has one yes it does it has witch hazel witch hazel is pretty much an astringent so i don't know how that's going to work in a toner but we shall see this product you get like i said you get five fluid ounces for 28 dollars. the shelf life on this as well is 12 months it says it instantly refines the look of pores reduces the look of dark spots evens the skin tones and fights shine without stripping the skin so I'm assuming this is going to be somewhat of a mattifier, especially if you're really oily and it's going to pretty much change the appearance of how your pores look with large pores. So this product, it states that it says it gets better, brightens skin, and then some pores look smaller, skin looks clearer, dark spots are less visible, instantly reduces oil and keeps you from looking shiny all day. It does have a unique texture, which I can actually attest to that. So also, um, this one has niacinamide in it, which niacinamide is actually in a lot of stuff, especially you see that in a lot of serums. It helps reduce dark spots and it helps even out the skin tone. It has the Australian lemon myrtle and witch hazel water, which reduces oil and refines pores. So if you are allergic to witch hazel, it is the second ingredient, FYI. Um, Japanese raisin tree, and that is to help detoxify the skin. It has the cactus flower, which helps hydrate, and it is rich in antioxidants by adding green tea and fig in it. For the people saying that you can't smell the fragrance in this, they lying. So anyways, we're going to see how this performs. We're going to see if I have to do a double cleanser on this or not. And then we're also going to see how dry I get by using this. So check it out. Hey guys. So I'm going to pop in real quick while, while I'm cleansing my face. I will say that the twist top is a nice touch to pouring out the product. It was definitely hygienic. I was a fan of that. I will say this cleanser did remove the makeup that I had on my face. I would not personally double cleanse with this cleanser just because of the ingredients in there. And you can definitely tell if you probably had really sensitive skin and you followed up with another cleanse of this soap, it would probably irritate you. So I would not do a double cleanse with this cleanser. Me personally, I would do a some type of water cleansing oil, cleansing balm to either go before or after to break down any type of mascara, eyeliner, or anything else that you would have on with your normal makeup wear and tear. I will say this cleanser is not for dry people. This is definitely catered more towards your oily girls 
I felt like after this cleanser my face was a little bit more matter so it does I feel like it does have that mattifying effect the like I said the fragrance in it you can smell it it definitely smells like a high-end product it's just that certain fragrance that you get when you use higher end products but I will say overall decent cleanser is this for sensitive girls probably not is this for people with dry or dehydrated skin no you can do without it now heading over to the fat water toner this product i will say actually i was very very pleasantly surprised it does have the same top on it as um the cleanser did that was a nice touch i will say this toner does make your face feel very very tight it makes it look very very shiny very bright i actually like the results of this but I will say this again is for a more oily type of girl or normal type of girl. This definitely isn't for somebody who has drier skin. I was actually surprised that the witch hazel didn't irritate my skin. Hey, I can dig it. Um, but I would recommend this for the oily girls. But I actually would probably repurchase this just because of the brightening effect that I got and how smooth my skin did feel after this how great my face felt my face feels incredibly great after this it's crazy but I actually would repurchase this if you are a dry girl but you are looking for something to help brighten your skin I would actually say pick this up I would actually recommend it even though I will say you will not get no hydration out of it but you will get a more even tone overall around your face the consensus of this line is this is for oily girls so until next time y'all bye